What's up YouTube world? It is me again, Jennifer L. Watson. And today we are talking about this couple's candle. As you can see, there's two people intertwined there, you know, loving, holding each other, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a candle, as you can see, you can see the wicks at the top of passion. <laughs> it's a candle of passion and so you can actually um, for this particular candle there's a few things that you can do with it um, if you have some of the oils that matches your intent obviously the intent here is getting close to someone whether it's just for the mere fact of intimacy or if you want to add a little bit more spice to your life then this is the candle that you would use right now to boost up the use of the candle i would definitely suggest to add some oils whether it's like the come to me oil the come fuck me oil or the follow me boy or the follow me girl oil um those kind of oils are really good for this now i would not suggest i just have to say this i would not suggest using anything like a hexing or a separation oil because you're going to confuse the intents between the candle and the oil <laughs> because this does not say separation <laughs> this is saying come close so that's what you want to use you would just simply take some of the oil and you would rub it from bottom to up because you want to draw in that desire right from bottom to the top and draw that in now if you want to add the oil um, if you want to add anything else you definitely can right I always explain tools that you use to draw in your desires and your intent um, the more tools you add the stronger that it has you know the stronger the effect the stronger um, that you'll be drawing that energy towards you so the candle is the first tool second tool the oil right drawing it upwards towards the wick if you have any herbs that you want to add to this you can herbs for this particular intention i would suggest using anything like flower related so your roses jasmines um why can't i think of any other flowers oh violets you can add some lavender especially lavender is really good for peace and things like that um add some flowers to it so you don't have to necessarily grind them up but i would suggest that you try to get it as finely grounded as possible <laughs> even if you have to rip it up with your fingers oh carnations other flowers right um adding this to oh and then once you take that and get those flowers as small as possible then you would just take the candle and kind of roll it and the flowers so that the oil acts as an adhesive to the candle. And once you roll it in the, in the herbs of the oils, then it'll stick to the candle. Now, other herbs that you can use for love and such, you could use Damiana. Damiana is actually um, a really good one. It's, it actually acts as an aphrodisiac. You can physically take it, though I am no doctor, disclaimer there um you can actually put it in teas and stuff um but you can also use it for your workings as well another herb did i say catnip already i might have said catnip yarrow um i said damiana yeah those are some really good starter herbs um and once you add your oils we already said our oils we said our herbs um then you can take and place this somewhere where you'll have a, an opportunity to sit and meditate with it um, I, once you light it. I always suggest that you take and add pictures, names um, to the people that you're working with, more than likely yourself um, and the other person that's involved here and adding it underneath the candle while it is on top of a fireproof dish we do not want you burning your house down <laughs> and then adding the candle on top and allowing that to burn now if you want to take it a step further what you could do is take some of that herbal mixture and sprinkle it around the candle creating a circle a seal around it while the candle is burning you may add some crystals like rose quartz um, and such to it you know having it set setting um having it set near having it set 
placing the crystals near the candle while it's burning. Um, you can play some music in the background, really enhancing the mood, burning some incense. If you want to really create um, an atmosphere for your desire and your intention. So all of these things that I'm naming here are really just suggestions on how to use this. Now, I do not have anything in particular that I can tell you to do because I don't like giving very specific spell work or blessing work advice um, because, well, spell work, I would say, um, advice because it really just varies. There is no like one way that you can do something. There is a whole lot of different ways that you can always create works. Um, so yeah, that is it. All right. If you have any questions, by all means, drop them down in the comments and do not forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. See you all later.